are getting information from Ododo Diodo, and yes, a lot of people have just been waiting for that. Well, we are, the projection we are getting is Neil Ante Van der Boy is winning that parliamentary seat. Uh, Nathaniel Atto is on the ground. He joins us to tell us a little more how that panned out. Nathaniel Atto, tell us uh, how it all came down. All right, first of all, I love the way you pronounce Ododo Diodo. <laughs> All right, um, Neil Ante van der Poy has been declared by the returning officer of the EC here at the Ododo Dio constituency as the winner of the parliamentary election here. Now, uh, I'll take you through the results. Now, um, William Larby of the Progressive People's Party had 411 votes. Edwin Neil Ante van der Poy, the incumbent of the NDC, at 36,606 votes. Now, Natalia, Edward, please, could you repeat Nilante's results? All right. So Nilante van der Poy managed to poll 36,606 votes. And then his closest contender, um, Edward Patrick Nilante Banamas of the NPP, the New Patriotic Party, uh, got 26,671 votes. Now, Jonathan Mitchell, he was mill of the APC, the All People's Congress, had 69 votes. And Samson Itaka of the Convention People's Party had 422 votes. So the total ballot votes cast were 64,179. The total rejected votes were 435. And the total votes cast were 64,614. So I'm reading all of this to you from, um, uh, you know, a sheet that has been signed duly by all of the polling agents here and the returning officer of the EC, uh, you know. Let's um, quickly go to the presidential uh, you know, election. Now, the presidential election here uh, at the Odododio Dio constituency in the Ashkia District um, goes as follows in terms of results. Now, Ivor Greenstreet of the CPP had 53 votes, 5-3. Nana Kunedwa Jiman Rawlings of the, uh, the NDP had 39 votes. John Dramani Mahama of the NDC had 37,217 votes. Papa Kwesi Indum of the PPP, the Progressive People's Party, had 245 votes. Nana Adodangpa Ikufwado of the NPP had 26,585 votes. Now, uh, Edward Nasigre Mahama, doctor of the PNC, had 13 votes, and uh, Jacob Ose Yaboa, who's an independent candidate, had 12 votes. Now, the total ballot votes cast in the presidential election year at the Odododio Dio constituency were 64,164. The total rejected votes were 582, and the total votes cast were 64,746. This form is also signed duly by Mr. Dominic Andor, who is the returning officer here at the Ududududio Constituency, specifically the uh, city engineer uh, polling station. Thank you very much, uh, Nathaniel. So is Neil Ante on hand? Uh, what has he been well, saying if he um, is? We will, we will have uh, an interview that I had with him earlier in a few minutes. Um, uh, we're just putting that together. You know, uh, uh, you know how our production procedures always go. So uh, what is happening now is that Neil Ante has immediately uh, gone on a victory procession um, in a white truck uh, together with a lot of his, uh, uh, some of his very close confidants in the, in the, in the bucket of the truck. Uh, he's followed by a few uh, members of the security agency, some of the uh, military personnel and police personnel. So they just got off uh, towards uh, the Jamestown Manchester Palace. They're going down towards uh, the Barclays Bank and the Standard Chartered Head Office. I'm, I'm suspecting that they will take a left into the central business district, where um, I'm sure that they will have a lot of support and waiting to share them for. All right. Thank you very much, Nathaniel Lato. Great job. You've been on since yesterday. And, uh, thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, thanks for bringing us that. Wow. Um, Nilante van der Poy getting um, 36,606. Yeah. But Edward Bannerman, to put up a strong fight, but it's a 10,000 uh, yeah. gap, yeah. gap. Yeah. yeah. He got 26,671. Yeah. But uh, President John Muhammad did better than his candidate, uh, 37,217. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nana Kufuado also getting uh, 
26,585. So that's a dip yeah. compared mm -hmm. to uh, Mr. Bannerman. We need yeah. to wrap up, uh, but mm. this is a really controversial yeah, constituency. It is, it is but controversial. It seems Neil Ante has... It is season to be a swing. Okay. You know, because NDC seems to be establishing yeah. their base, you know, considering the consistency. Uh, with which they have held on to the seat. Usually it's a seat you know, that, changes, that changes. Yes, Okaija held it. Elections, yes, and then they have been able to Mantaka that, had yeah. it, and yeah. so it's been changed. But I think Nilante, yeah. this is the second win, yes, yes. cemented it there. Yes. yes, I know we just have two more minutes. Quick wrap up. The Volta region, we're not getting much from there, but for the three results I've seen so far, it's been a 60 something percent turnout or mm. win for mm. the candidates, Aveji, uh, Humado. Yeah. Uh, some Olokuja to a black one. Some say, well, this just shows that the Volterians are not happy. I don't know what you think of that. Wow. Because usually it's 80 something percent. Yes, yes. It's quite really surprising because you can draw a number of issues from this. Number one, the people have complained and we have heard the Volta region. Well, people complain. thought it was not real. Oh. <laughs> 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 Some thought it wasn't real. Yeah. It was. Um, Yes. Makeshift. Yeah, but, but that's, but that's just one factor. Yeah, they organize press conferences, they express their opinion. They also the accused the, the NPP's uh, yes. chairman in the region of instigating the chiefs yes, and well, people against them. I guess, <laughs> you know, but I think that if he was able to instigate the chiefs, then he was really a good chairman. You know, for him to have mastered that influence to be able to get the chiefs away. You know, to influence what, their what people. What would be your advice the, the, to, there to are the other factors? What would be yeah. your advice to the the, mm -hmm. the NDC in terms of that region? Because Muntaka, in his interactions, indicated that the MPP got their people to come out and vote yes. in Ashanti. Mm. It seems that didn't happen in the case of Volta. It, yes, I, I think that the NDC took Volta for granted that they have always voted for us. They are our people, and so they will come along. But, you see, people become sophisticated day by day. And the fact that the voices we have heard from the Volta, you know, uh, seemed to present a picture of a region that wants to use their support for the NDC to demand development. And if they are not seeing that development, then apathy is going to be the result. And so that could be one of the reasons we are getting low turnout. But the other one is the MPP's view that the register is bloated and therefore you don't have people you know owning those names in the register and people do double voting and triple voting so the MPP also decided to embark on what they call Operation, Operation Tiger, 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 Tiger Eye, Eye. Yeah. you know the vigilance they said they, 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 they were able to monitor the votes they were able to police the polling stations and they did not allow uh, people who were not on the register to vote. And don't also forget the Togo uh, issue, the claim by Dr. Baumia that to some Togolese people registered. And all the noise about, that probably you know, frightened that, yes, some, somehow. somehow so there may be so many factors that can explain why we the are low turnout, the yes, turnout yes, is yes, low. Yes. All right, thank you very okay. much, uh, Executive Director <laughs> of the African Center for Energy Policy, Dr. Uh, I'm Mohamed I'm supposed to be talking Adam. about energy and petroleum, <laughs> and now you're you making you me talk politics. <laughs> politics. <laughs> before becoming an uh, energy technocrat <laughs> later on. Thank you very much for yes, spending time nice, with us here nice. on our coverage. Thank and uh, Gifty Ando Apia will be taking over. I want to say thanks to you uh, for joining us here on Joy 99.7 FM. Thank you for joining us here on DSTV 421, also on the Joy News channel on Multi TV. And for those of you who also joined us on social media, also by our uh, online page, myjoyonline.com. And for those of you who downloaded the app, uh, keep at it. And we're bringing you more interesting coverage. Keep yourself uh, glued to our coverage. Uh, we'll be bringing you more and more information on the election 20. 2016.